Hey everyone, it's Donna here, and I thought I would come on. I had someone curious about how I sealed the image on one of my last, one of my Christmas journals on the front with wax, and I actually watched a bunch of YouTube videos on how to do it, and I think the first one I saw was from Lori Girl on the Ridge, um, and she, I'm not going to do it exactly the way she did, because I like my iron too much, but um, and she used some purchased wax bits. I guess you can get them on Amazon. They look like little little beads, uh, and I didn't have any, and I just wanted to experiment, so I didn't want to um, purchase anything. So I decided I had these a bunch of candles laying around the house, and they're wax, so I thought I'd give it a try. And what I did was just take some shavings off the bottom of it, some little little bits. You don't need big chunks. Actually, little bits are are better. So I'm just going to take some off here. You can see there's little little bits. Okay, that should probably be enough for what I'm going to do today. And I take it off the bottom so I can still use the candle if I want to. That one's a little bit too big. Let's break it up. Now I'm going to try this with, with two different images. This one is just printed on regular copy paper. And this one is printed on lightweight cardstock. <clears throat> cardstock. And all you do, I am taking, actually I'm going to do, do these first. These are the, when I print my shipping labels for my packages, these are the non-stick things that they're, that they're onto. So I'm going to use that. Um, and you just put a little bit, sprinkle a little bit of wax. You don't need a whole lot because it melts and spreads. <clears throat> But I do want to get a good overall coverage. Oops, there's a string. Don't want that in it. I've been working with linens lately, so I've got strings everywhere. All right, let's let's see if that's good enough. You can always add more after if it doesn't completely cover, and. Lori would take her, and I'm using my little little um, travel iron. I have it set to no steam and on the highest setting. Um, Lori would just put her iron right down on it. And it's like, oh my gosh, I, I, I don't know what that would do to my iron. So I didn't want to do that. So I'm just going to put another with the, the nonstick side facing it. And just put your iron on there doesn't take long to melt it. You can kind of see. Let's see what this looks like. Yikes, hot. There's some excess on there. I'm just wiping that off and let it cool before you touch it for sure it's hot hot wax I'm just going to gently peel it off and it actually turns it a little translucent you can you can see my fingers through it I did miss another a little piece down on the corner there so and you can see the difference I'm just going to put a little little bit there That's the one on regular copy paper. You can feel the, the waxy feel to it. 
Now I'm going to try it with the one on cardstock. Oops, whoa. Too much in one spot. Oh, that's a big chunk. All right, let's see. Let's see if that's enough. I just spread it around evenly. I'm going to use a clean, a clean one. Lay it down and press gently. You can feel it melting, evening out. Still a little hot. And there you go. This one is sealed. That one went a little bit more evenly. And it's not, it's a little thicker paper, so it's not quite as translucent. But there she is. She's all nice and sealed and protected. So that is how I do my wax sealing of photographs or um, images. So I hope that was helpful. Um, I thank you for watching and if you have any, if you do it differently and you have any tips and tricks on, on how to do it better, I'm, I'm welcome to hearing it. And that's all I have for today. Bye for now.